Hey, how's it guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to load a CSV data file into a SQLite database using Pandas. Alright, so this is a technique that I use whenever I need to upload a data file into a SQLite database. And with this method, you're not limited to just CSV files. You can load a text file, a JSON file, or even load tables from a different database. Alright, so here have a CSV file. And the file name is going to be data.csv. Now, if I go into my project folder, here let me go ahead and delete this uh, database file. I'm going to create a new one from scratch. All right, so in my Python script, I want to uh, first of all import the SQLite database module, which is going to be SQLite 3. Then I'm going to import Pandas module. Now I want to read the csv file. So from pd.read csv. And the file name is going to be data.csv. Alright, so this is going to be step one load data file. Now, step two is optional in case if you need to uh, do some data cleanup. And this is going to be we're going to uh, do the data transformation, data cleanup, or other uh, operations. Alright, now I say I want to make sure that my headers does not contain any extra space from both ends. So I can reference the counts attribute and I reference the string down to stripe the uh, empty spaces. And I need to replace the uh, counts. All right, so this is going to be data cleanup. Now step two is going to be uh, creating the database or connecting to a SQLite database. So this is going to be create or connect to a SQLite database. Now using SQLite 3 module, it's going to be SQLite 3 dot connect. And here you can either create or connect to a database. And because I don't have a database yet, so I'm going to create the database first. Now name the database demo.db. And I'll name the output connection. And once I establish the database connection, so I can grab the data frame object. And there's a method called to SQL method. So this is one of the most useful methods uh, in my opinion. So this to SQL method will write records storing your data frame to a SQL database. So it doesn't matter if I work with SQLite, SQL Server, Oracle, or even BigQuery. You can use this method to work with just about almost every single database system. And because my objective here is simply upload this data set to my SQLite database, so it's going to be step four. Load data file to SQLite. So inside the to SQL method, the first parameter is going to be the table name. Now let's say I want to name uh, the table as housing developments and followed by the database connection. So we know we create the connection here in line 11. So I'll pass the connection object. Now here I want to insert another parameter called if exists. Right, so from this uh, if exists uh, parameter, we have three options. We can either set the value to fail, replace, or append. If we set the if exists value to fail, then it's going to raise an exception if a table that has the same name already exists. First, replace is going to replace the existing table, and pen is going to basically add the records to the existing table. All right, so here I want to set the if exists value to replace. So basically, if I'm trying to upload a data set that has the same, uh, if I'm assigning the same table name, then I simply just want to place the uh, table records. Now I can close the connection because I'm done with the uh, data upload. All right, so uh, here let me, excuse me, I haven't created the database yet. Now let me go ahead and run uh, this code block. And I'll go ahead and create the demo DB file. Now what I want to do here is I want to make sure that this DB file does not have any table. All right, so we can see that the SQLite database is completely empty. Now if I run line 15, 
and it's going to upload my 561 records from this uh, data.csv file. And I need to close the connection. Right, so if I go back, and I'll drop the database file again. Now this time, I can see that I now have a table called housing developments, and this table has 561 rows of records. So this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video, and hopefully you guys find this video as well. And feel free to post your question or your feedback in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.